So in this presentation what we have to do is we have to find a minimum uh, weight spanning 3 for this graph here. I'm just going to scroll up to the top here. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to use a thing called the greedy algorithm. Let's just write that. Greedy algorithm. So uh, what we're going to do is continually select an edge having minimum weight but uh, each time we have to avoid making a cycle okay now I'll sort of uh, come to that uh, shortly um, when the time comes so uh, just as a remark actually what is the weights of each edge well AB here is 1 let's just write that in again BC there is 4 C to D is the weight of that edge is 7. C to F is 2. That's a small one. B to E is uh, 4. C to E, that's 6. Okay. A to D, A to D is this one here, that's 6 as well. B to F is 3. A to, A F, uh, A to F is f um, 4 and E. E to F is 5. So those are all our edges. Now pretty clearly you can tell that the minimum edges, uh, the, 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 the edges with the lowest uh, weights are, the first two just to start off with, are A and B and also, well A and B is the first one, so that's the first one picked. So I'm moving on to the second one almost immediately and that's C and F. Okay. So the next one I'm going to pick is the, the next shortest one after that. So I'm going to put a little uh, circle around, around all the ones I've picked, just to sort of um, indicate that they're they're out of action. So that one's gone. This one here is gone. The next shortest one after that is C or B to F. Okay. So let's pick that one there. Okay, so uh, that one there is picked. Okay, now this is uh, what we have so far. I'm just going to move on to the next slide, and I'm just going to sort of pick out what we have chosen so far. So we have picked this one out first. That one there. We put this one out second because it's two and we picked this one out third because it has a weight of three so far so good but what we got to do worry about now is where do we go with the next one so what's the next smallest um, weighting well, we have a couple of fours knocking around we have a four here we have a four here and we have a four here now the thing about um, this four this one here is that if we pick that edge where that's the edge A to F we're getting a cycle A, B and F so if we pick that edge there we're getting this cycle here I'm just going to draw it in quickly that's a cycle that's what we don't want that is not a minimum spanning tree so uh, spinning, minimum spanning tree so we can't pick that one likewise I've just uh, taken out one of my edges there, sorry. Uh, likewise, we can't pick the one on the right-hand side because if we pick that one, um, we also get a tree. So just put that one back in there. So if, if we pick B, C, we're getting a cycle A, B, and a, a, B, C, and F. So the one we have to go for is B to E. Let's pick that one there. Okay. So this is the one we've selected. This one here because although if we pick any of the other two, we would get a cycle, and we can a, a, a tree does not have cycles. So we're picking that one there. Okay. So let's just sort of cross off the ones we have picked already. We can't pick that one because we get that will give us a cycle. We can't pick that one because that will give us a cycle. We have picked this one already. We have picked this one already and we've picked that three already. So 
the next thing we can do is that could we the next uh, smallest uh, uh, weighting there is five down here thing about that one is if we pick that five we're getting a cycle between uh, we're getting a cycle so we can't pick that one so we're going to cross that one off our list and we're not going to pick that what do we have to do exactly what's our final destination um, so the last thing we have to do is actually just remember what we have to do uh, it, uh, so we have to connect up each vertex vertex of each of the vertices but there's only one left anyway okay so what do we do now so let's actually just think about this we either pick this edge here I'm just gonna make it a bit thicker this edge here C to D that will complete the spanning tree okay but E to D would actually give us a smaller spanning or a, a spanning tree with a smaller uh, weighting so what we're gonna do is pick E to D instead okay so that's it done all our edges all our vertices are connected okay and so therefore we now have a minimum spanning tree so um, just as a remark we have six vertices so we should have five edges now I could have sort of just made that remark there earlier so we picked this one first oops we picked this one first this one second this one third uh, this one fourth and this is our last one here the fifth one here okay so do we have all our edges anyway there's only six vertices so there's only five edges that we were looking for and there's no cycles it's a tree and uh, just as a remark the total weight of the spanning tree is what it is one plus two plus three plus four plus six that last one there is six so just a sort of quick remark where did they come that that come from that's the weight of uh, edge one the selected edge one that's the weight of selected edge two selected edge three selected edge four and selected edge five total of that the minimum spanning tree weight is 16 so that ends this presentation <laughs>